I wanted to share with you a few Lightroom tips you might not be aware of. Um, we're going to look at the uh, lights dim, lights out, and the uh, other viewing modes in Lightroom. Um, a lot of people aren't aware of these, and it's just some pretty neat stuff uh, you might want to use while you're you're looking at your photos. Um, what you do is uh, when you're in the develop mode and you've got a photo highlighted here in the center that you're working on and you want to look at it um, with a little less distraction if you hit the L key on your keyboard once you'll see that it dims down that's lights dim um, the uh, the background and the side panels and your film strip on the bottom so that you're able to uh, concentrate more on the photo to see what it looks like uh, and this is lights dim mode if you hit the L key one more time now we're into lights out mode and uh, as you can see this totally blacks out everything else except your photo which is handy for uh, for having a look at what it looks like without any distractions and and seeing what it's going to look like without actually having to develop it and uh, look at it that way um, so these are, are really handy and uh, if you hit the L key one more time it takes you back to uh, to your regular screen and uh, so that's uh, one hit of the L key takes us to lights dim well, another hit of the L key takes us to lights out and uh, if you hit it one more time we're back to our regular lights on mode now one of the things you might not know if you did know about uh, the lights dim lights out and other viewing uh, is the um, you can uh, change the settings on the uh, the lights out mode you can control them you just go to uh, on a PC you go to edit and you go to preferences and here you'll see that uh, preferences pops up we want to go down to interface the last tab here and we can see that uh, lights out here you can control the dim levels so it's set at 80 percent default you can change that 90 percent 70 percent whatever you want I'm gonna leave that and the screen color you can uh, you can go from a blackout to a dark gray white light gray whatever you want you can change those settings there I actually like the defaults, so I'm just gonna leave them there but I wanted to show you that that that's there in case uh, you weren't aware of it so that's uh, one of the really cool features of, of uh, viewing in Lightroom is the lights dim lights out and uh, obviously lights back on um, and one of the other quick ones I'll show you too is if we go back to library mode I'll click on there and we can see I've got this uh, screen shrunk down for the purposes of making this little video so it's, it's kind of condensed my uh, my center strip for my uh, for all my photos but it actually will show uh, what I'm going to show you here quite well because what we can do is uh, we can go to uh, shift tab that's on a PC and what that'll do is take out your side panels so uh, now we're looking at uh, just your photos in the center screen there um, all your thumbnails and uh, the beauty of that is that uh, you can just shift tab and you can go back to your uh, your panels so it's a quick on and off for your panels and um, the other thing you can do too is if you hit T you can take out the uh, the toolbar at the bottom hit it again and it returns and uh, so that's just a couple little handy tricks that I like uh, with Lightroom and uh, for for viewing and uh, they're handy for for various things if you're just sorting through your uh, through your thumbnails you can uh, shift tab and uh, take off your your side panels and take off your toolbar as well it just depends if you need them or not you might want the real estate so anyways hope you enjoy that that's lights dim lights out and uh, the uh, shift tab and the T for taking out your uh, your side panels and your toolbar we will uh, talk to you again soon here at art of the image